Hi everyone and welcome to my channel audio video music and entertainment. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how you could use your DSLR camera to do live broadcasts like live streaming, web streaming on YouTube, Facebook or any other platform like Twitch or Upstream or Livestream platforms. Uh, now this could be beneficial if you are on a budget and you haven't got a capture card but you want premium quality uh, like a pro quality video uh, capture from a DSLR camera and then you want to upload it to YouTube or Facebook. Uh, this could be beneficial for schools, universities or any other uh, live event environment where uh, they haven't got a capture card and they are basically on a budget. Uh, so this could probably help somebody out there. So all you need hardware wise is a DSLR camera as you can see I'm using one to capture this video and record this video and a USB cable so basically you connect the USB cable uh, that came with your DSLR camera which is a AV output cable uh, uh, which connects to AV output port on your DSLR camera and carries the signal uh, to your laptop via USB. Uh, that's all the software you're going to need. If you're going to uh, be using external microphones, then you're going to need uh, an audio uh, mixer, a USB audio mixer, so you could connect external microphones uh, to it, like one microphone, two microphones, or depend uh, how big your USB audio mixer is. Uh, so that way you can feed the audio via USB to your laptop. So the video is captured uh, via the USB on the laptop and the audio is captured via the audio uh, uh, interface or audio uh, mixer, USB mixer. Uh, now that's the hardware you would need and now I'll tell you what software you would need and what configuration needs to be done. Okay, so let's jump on the computer screen and uh, I'll show you on the browser screen uh, what exactly you need. And uh, basically you're going to need two pieces of software. Uh, uh, both of them, they're free, uh, but then there are some license limitation and stuff like watermarks and stuff. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and start with the first one uh, in order to use your uh, DSLR camera uh, to do live stream uh, on YouTube and Facebook you're going to need a application called Digicam Control which basically converts your uh, DSLR camera into a virtual camera which is then compatible inside the broadcasting application like XSplit or OBS. Uh, next, go ahead download uh, XSplit Broadcaster or OBS, whatever software you are uh, familiarized with, just go ahead uh, download that. I haven't tested this with Wirecast, so can't comment on that, uh, but I've tested it with XSplit and uh, OBS. And in today's demonstration, I'm going to be using uh, XSplit. Okay. So once you have downloaded Digicam Control and installed it, download XSplit Broadcaster and install it. Next step is open uh, your uh, Digicam Controller app and uh, then basically go on file and go to settings and go to web server and make sure use web server and allow interaction via web server both of these they are checked in. Once they have checked in just click on OK and exit this. Second is in order to make your camera live just click on the live view and then uh, as you can see on the right hand side uh, of the screen I'm getting the live view of the camera. I'm not going to press this right now because it's going to stop the recording. Uh, so once you've got to this stage you are all set up uh, with your DSLR camera capture on your laptop. Uh, second step is open XSplit application and log on to your XSplit application. Go to sources and go to webcam, webcam capture card and select Digicam controller virtual webcam. Uh, 
as your source capture device. Once you have done that, you need to adjust uh, the screen size of it. So uh, inside the screen, just right click and uh, here uh, for the audio bit, if you're using an external mixer like the one I'm using here, then uh, select that audio mixer. I'm using the Yamaha AGO 6 USB audio mixer to use this Shure SM58 microphone as external microphone. So go ahead, select that and uh, audio output, basically leave it to system sound. You can leave it to stream only as well. Uh, but if you want to monitor it via your headphone jack on your laptop, then just leave it for system sound. Uh, make sure you don't make it too loud uh, if headphones is not connected, otherwise it's going to result in a feedback. So just leave it on system sound and uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave the audio output to mute. But audio input for using external microphone, I have selected Yamaha AGO 6. Okay, and uh, for uh, the camera source, obviously, I've already selected DigiCam Control Virtual Webcam as my camera source. Now, in order to configure it, just go or click on Configure Video Input and put 1920 by 1080 if you are capturing, if output from your camera is set up to uh, 1080p resolution, then you need to put this here. Otherwise, auto detected and whatever compressed audio it's detecting, it will detect that. But I'm just putting 1920 by 1080p and clicking on apply. And that's it. So your audio and video settings, they are done. As you can see inside XSplit, I'm receiving my cam image, which is my DSLR camera image. Okay, now uh, to make it live to go on YouTube first. So what you go, do is you go on outputs and <clears throat> you have to configure an output like set up a new output. The way you do it the first time is go to get more outputs and here there are different application plugins that are compatible with XSplit. So what you do is just search YouTube and press enter and here it is YouTube. Once you click on it, it will take you to this page, which is just right here. And you have to authorize XSplit to log on to your YouTube uh, channel. Once you have authorized uh, XSplit by putting in your login details, uh, then these settings they will appear. Make sure in the bitrate kbps 2900 is selected or you put in manually 2900 and CBR constant bitrate is selected and make sure your codec is x264. Okay, uh, so 2900 uh, uh, kilobits per second bitrate is recommended by YouTube for XSplit usage for or broadcasting or webcasting 1080p at 30 frames per second. Once you have done that, then just click on OK. And just click on Stream. And as I said, there are a few limitations uh, that uh, the highest resolution uh, with free XSplit license it can uh, stream is 1280 by 720. Uh, but I'm just going to select stream in 1920 by 1080 with watermark. Okay. And now it's uh, prompting me whether I want to do it and I'll say yes. So now it has started broadcasting. Uh, in order to verify the broadcast, I have to go to YouTube now. And I'll refresh my live streaming page. And as you guys can see, like the stream is live at the moment. I'm waving my hand. Now there would be a lag while you're recording it. 
uh, and uh, capturing it basically onto your laptop the minute it's gonna upload to YouTube and then uh, for your viewers to view it obviously you know it travels via the computer uh, then it gets uh, decoded and stuff and then uh, your computer uploads it to your internet service provider then it's downloading on the YouTube and stuff so there is a lot of data traveling and compression happening and uploading and downloading happening so that's why there is a lag uh, but obviously, if you are capturing it in a live event, uh, your viewers on YouTube or Facebook or any other platform like Twitch or Ustream or Livestream, they are not going to be present there. So they don't know this distance uh, uh, or, or uh, uh, this difference in, in lag. Uh, few things what you have to do in regards to audio to make it better is you have to do uh, testing with your audio that uh, once you are webcasting then there is no lip syncing so your basically your audio matches with your video so before uh, the main event you have to test this as a live stream just to make sure that uh, there are no lip syncing and stuff otherwise you have to add delays uh, and compression and stuff uh, okay so there you go i'm just speaking into my microphone and uh, audio is live blah 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 and uh, this is how you do it on youtube uh, okay uh, if you've got a premium uh, or license exploit then you can uh, stream onto Facebook and uh, 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 YouTube and any other platform at the same time and there is no limitation and then you can have obviously multiple sources you can create multiple scenes inside XSplit but this video is not about using XSplit this video is uh, primary a, a about using your DSLR camera uh, to capture the live video and then streaming it using XSplit. Okay, so uh, that was YouTube streaming. Now I'm gonna show you same thing. You have to go to outputs uh, and then go to Facebook Live and then activate your Facebook with XSplit. Once you have done that, then just uh, click here, activate it and uh, then make sure Facebook doesn't allow at the moment more than 2500 uh, kilobits per second uh, which is about 2.5 meg which is all right uh, make sure the mode is again CBR and the codec is x264 and then go ahead and then just make it live by clicking it here and uh, again it's asking me that you haven't got the uh, paid license so I'm just happy with the watermark and stuff and uh, now just go to your Facebook page and just refresh your main page area and shortly your live stream would appear on your main page there you go that's my live stream right there I can make it full screen and uh, obviously there is gonna be lag uh, between the live capture uh, till it's uploaded on the internet and for your viewers to uh, see it uh, but as I mentioned during the setup of audio and video you need to make sure that the microphone you are using or the microphones that you are gonna use they are in sync uh, with the video uh, this is very important so uh, you have to do a little bit of testing before uh, the main event all right guys hopefully this would help somebody out there in the events industry who's on a budget uh, whose clients they are on a budget 
and uh, they don't want to pay a lot of money for web streaming or web casting or live streaming uh, so this is how you do it without a capture uh, device using uh, free softwares and and your laptop uh, and uh, in order to give a professional audio and professional video you use DSLR camera and professional grade external microphones and audio mixer okay and uh, if you are on uh, like school events or university events or charity events uh, I mean uh, this is the way forward and uh, that's how you do it on the budget alright guys if you have liked this video click on the like icon share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you bye